PS5 tutorial. So it is finally here. We're now able to jailbreak the PS5 on a digital edition console or a console without a working disk drive using the YouTube application. The Netflix application is also pretty much there as well. So we'll probably be covering that soon. But for now, this is the method that uses the YouTube application to jailbreak the PS5. So this is just intended to be an early setup guide because this has only just released. Obviously, once things are more stable and are easier to load things, like being able to load the payload directly from the internal hard drive, once we're able to do those things, I'll have a more complete beginner's guide available. But for now, this is just the early version. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to our settings page, head down to system. We're going to go to system software, system software update and settings. Make sure download update files automatically and install update files automatically are both unchecked. Then we can head into our console information. Make sure you're on a compatible firmware version. So our firmware version here is after the first dash, so 04.03. That is the lowest firmware that's supported by this exploit right now. So you can jailbreak your PS5 using this method on any firmware between 4.03 and 9.60. So any firmware in between will be compatible. So 4.03 up to 9.60. It should eventually go up to 10.01, but for now, K stuff does not support up to 10.01 yet. So it's 9.60 is the cutoff point right now. So 4.03 to 9.60 as long as your firmware version is within that range, you can use the YouTube application to jailbreak your PS5. So to set up this jailbreak on a PS5 that's never been jailbroken before, you need to restore a backup file that contains the correct version of the YouTube application and the exploit used to jailbreak the console. So in order to set that up, we need to restore a backup file onto the console, which will wipe your current save data and other applications that you already have installed on the console. So in order to not lose those permanently, you're going to want to make sure you back up your own PS5 first to a USB drive. All you need to do is grab yourself a USB drive and connect it up to your computer. Make sure it's a drive that has enough space on it and right click and go to properties and make sure that the file system is XFAT. If it's not XFAT, you'll need to right click and reformat it into the XFAT file system and make sure you back up any data on the drive before reformatting it. Then what you can do is plug in that USB drive into your PS5 and then back on the PS5, we're going to go back into our system settings and go down to backup and restore. Select that option and back up your PS5. Select the USB drive and say yes. I would back up your screenshots and video clips, your save data. You can edit the games and apps section and then uncheck any games and apps that you're not wanting to back up and then confirm it. And then you can go ahead and back that up to the USB drive and just let that run. It will reboot your PS5. But once it's finished, you'll be able to unplug that USB drive. Okay, so back on the computer, when you plug the USB drive in, you'll see a PS5 folder here. All you need to do is copy that somewhere safe on your computer and keep it for safekeeping so that you can always restore that backup in the future to be able to reaccess those save files and other applications that you had installed previously. So once you have it backed up, you can then delete that folder from the USB drive. So now we just head into the releases section on the repo for the latest version and download the backup file, the zip file here, and get that copied over to your computer. So I have it right here. If we open this up, we have a PS5 folder. We just drag that into the root of our USB drive, just like the backup that we already created. So we copy this backup onto our USB, plug that USB drive into the PS5. Then on the PS5 and system, we just go back to the backup and restore options. This time, restore your PS5, select the USB drive, and there it is, YouTube Jailbreak 1.2. We select it and restore that backup file onto our PS5. And then we just wait for that to complete. So after restoring that backup file, if you go to the media section, you should now have the YouTube application installed. You do also want to go into your settings and network settings and go to settings, set up an internet connection. If you're using a wired connection, the settings should already be set up for you. If you're using a wireless connection, they might not be. So just make sure you press the options button and go to advanced settings and then check your primary DNS. So the DNS settings should be set to manual and the primary DNS should be set to 127.0.0.2. If it's not, then just put in that information and click OK. Now just select that registered network with X so it can attempt to connect to it. It will say it cannot connect to the internet, but it should still be connected to your local network. Then head back into the settings and go to system, system software console information, and just check that you have a valid IPv4 address, which means you are connected to the network. 
So 192.168.137.156 in my case. So now we can go ahead and run the YouTube application, which will trigger the exploit. And there it goes. We can click OK to the PlayStation sign in message. And that is it up and running. So now all we need to do is send the payload, which will actually jailbreak the console. So we can download the payloads by just heading back to the main page and going to the code and downloading it as a zip file because that contains the payloads. Extract that zip to your computer. If we open it up, we have payloads in here and the lapse payload is the one we want to send. So I'm going to use Netcat GUI to send the payload. Obviously, you can use any payload injector that you want to use here as long as it can send uh, JavaScript files. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the payload into Netcat GUI. Enter the IP address of our PS5 here in the host box and then the port number should be 50,000 and click inject payload. And when we click inject payload, you'll see that on the PS5 itself, it starts running the exploits. There we go, lapse version 1.0. And once it finishes, it automatically closes the YouTube application. And it's now running the elf loader on port 9021. So you can inject a payload to jailbreak the console like ETA hen or K stuff. Now, sometimes when you try to load the lapse kernel exploit, it will tell you that it failed and you have to reboot the console. If that happens, just restart, load YouTube again, and then repeat the process until it works because it doesn't always work the first time. So now that it's up and running, you can download the ETA Hen payload, the latest release. I'll leave it in the description, which this version only works up to 8.20 at the moment. I did say you could use this all the way up to 9.60. So if you want a version of ETA Hen that works up to 9.60 right now, you can go into the Package Zone Discord server, which I'll leave a link to in the description. In the ETA Hen public test channel, you can find the latest test build of ETA Hen, which does work up to 9.60, and it's in the pinned section on Discord, and you'll find the latest ELF file there that you can download uh, the latest version of ETA Hen. Because I'm running on an older firmware, I can just use the version from the main release. So at that point, we can go ahead and download that ETA Hen, drag it into our payload injector again, and this time change the port number to 9021, because we're now injecting this using the ELF loader, which is still running in the background on our PS5. So when we inject the payload here, it starts running ETA Hen. There it goes, it's starting up. There we go, ETA Hen loading the toolbox. And there it is, it is now up and running. So we basically have the console jailbroken now in just a couple of simple steps. So if we go into the settings, we now have the ETA Hen toolbox. And there it is, we have all of our jailbreak options right there. Okay, so last but not least, just a quick demonstration of how you can install PS4 games as well as PS5 applications. If we go back onto the computer and go to our USB drive, we can take any fake packages for the PS4, which is how you install PS4 games. They are in these .pkg files. And if I open them in PS4 package viewer, it tells me down in the bottom left-hand corner what the version is, if it's a retail version or a fake package version. Fake versions are the ones you want to be able to load them on a jailbroken PS5. So this is how you install all of your PS4 applications on a jailbroken PS5 is through these package files. So I've got a package file here for Resident Evil 4 uh, Remake. And this one has the separate ways DLC and also an update file that are also package files. So your games, your DLC and updates are all package files. So I can just copy those to the root of the USB drive to install them on the PS5. And once we have those copied over, when it comes to running PS5 games, PS5 games are loaded differently. They're basically just stored in folders. So all of the extracted game files are just stored in a folder and they're loaded from that folder. So all you need to do is create an ETA hen folder on the root of your USB drive. Make sure it's ETA in lowercase characters and hen in uppercase characters. I believe it is case sensitive. I could be wrong, but I think it is. So then go into the ETA hen folder and then create a games folder inside there, all lowercase. And then inside that folder, you're going to then copy any of your game dump folders that you have for any games. I'm using Hogwarts Legacy as an example, and I'm just going to copy that in there and wait for it to transfer. So once that's all copied over, we can plug that USB drive back into our PS5. And then from there, we can simply go into our settings menu, scroll down to ETA Hen Toolbox and go to the package installer. And the package installer will allow you to install any PS4 applications that you put on there and you can hit install all and it will install all of those package files for Resident Evil 4. Once they're installed, you'll be able to see it shows up on the home page as a normal application. And as long as you're running ETA Hen or K stuff, you'll be able to load that application by selecting it with X 
and you can see it now loads on the console. So that's how you get your PS4 applications installed and running uh, on a jailbroken PS5. So now that we've confirmed we've got PS4 games working, we can close out of that game and now try and run our PS5 game, which is loaded differently. We just go back into the settings and the ETA Hen toolbox, and this time we simply scroll down to the Webman Games section, and if we select that, we should see that our game dump appears in the list, uh, the one that's on the USB, Hogwarts Legacy, and I can select it, and it will run that game. So that is the basics of how you th get things up and running. And just as a quick side note, if you edit your network settings, you can change the IP address uh, from 127.0.0.2, which is what's recommended by the developer. You can change it to uh, 62.210.38.117. And this is a DNS blocker. So for the most part, the YouTube jailbreak will still work in most cases, but sometimes it might not using that particular address. But the benefit of that address is that you can still get proper internet access on the PS5 while blocking Sony's servers so that you don't get any system updates. And then that will allow you to do things like install applications like the Homebrew Store, which you can just select and that will go ahead and download that onto your PS5. And once that's downloaded, 